Hey Crafty Crew! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here please subscribe and tap that bell for more crafty videos. Today is a special holiday video. Um, in this video I asked three of my YouTuber friends to talk to me about their favorite um, Christmas or holiday ornament. Um, Benjamin Chavez, um, Sin City Soap and Candles, and Colorado Martini, and they're all awesome uh, YouTubers and really good friends. Um, so they'll be up next talking about their um, favorite ornaments. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you mine. Um, this is my favorite ornament. Um, it's a little popcorn ornament. Um, I just, I just love popcorn, honestly. <laughs> It's my favorite snack, um, especially if you can get it from the movie theater. So I just always thought this was so cute. I think I got it at Kohl's a few years ago. And my other favorite ornament would be this um, little star. My son painted this last year with me for Christmas. Um, he's, well, he's almost four now. Um, but I would say that those two would be my favorite ornaments. Um, so up next is going to be my friends talking about... Um, their favorite ornaments and then at the end I'm going to show a little surprise ornament tutorial. Hello family, friends and viewers of Crafty Mommy 85 channel. Thank you very much for uh, having me here tonight. It is a great, a great pleasure for me to be here. And I was asked to share with the viewer of this channel uh, my favorite ornament and it turns out it is the, this great of bells. Um, I would like to say that I made it myself, but uh, to be honest, I'm not as crafty and talented as some of you or the host of this channel. But it means a lot to me because it was my very first uh, Christmas related thing that was given to me when I first moved to the USA. I moved here in December 1999 and uh, it was Christmas time, so the English teacher that I had at the time uh, brought this little gift for me so um, I really treasure it and I really like it I also would like to take this opportunity to wish all of you happy holidays and uh, Merry Christmas I hope you all enjoy a good time with good company with friends and family so thank you very much for having me I hope this is not the last time and um, happy holidays bye hi guys I'm Nicole. Wayne, how you doing? We're from Sin City Soaps and Candles, and Stacy asked us to put together a video about our favorite ornament, and we are wearing our ugly sweaters for our favorite ornament video. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to do that. And here. for me, I have three. It's the Starbucks ones, and it's not even that I like Starbucks that much, because I really... They're okay. Um, but it's because my so mom, my mom buys yeah. these for me, yep. and she's bought me one for three years. So, anyway, this is the, the Frappuccino one, and then there's the... Whatever that is. The I regular cupped one. This is the cupped one, but this is the one I got last year. And then this is just their holiday one. Yep. Oh. And go ahead, Mike. Gene Simmons, of course. Kiss. And the rest of the game. <laughs> Kiss. Yes. Because, you see? I know, I know, I know. And he's all lit up. But what she but is, she loves... Is. The only reason I have this, because she loves Molly Crew, so... As well. She loves all of her rock band guys. I don't know if you can see the guys. I love my 80s hair yeah. bands. Yeah. You got, you know, a bunch of other people behind us like oh, yeah. Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Molly Crew. Molly Crew. And then, uh, yeah, Meatloaf. And we got, anyways, we don't get into it. <laughs> we got more. But <laughs> there's a lot more. That's for another video. Yeah, right? But all right. Here you go. Oh, Beatles too. Hello. Oh, yeah, the Beatles. I love the Beatles. <laughs> John Lennon. Yep, yep. All right. Anyway, thank you so much, Stacy, for asking us to be a part of this. And... Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, have a great day. Hi Crafty Mommy, Colorado Martini here. Years ago I made this ornament with my oldest daughter. We put paint inside and shook it up and it made this wonderful design on the ornament. But I really would like to make more of them and I have forgotten how. Can you show me? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the ornaments that Colorado Martini was talking about. Um, so the things you're going to need is a clear glass or plastic ornament like this. And you're going to need one 
where the top can pop off. Um, you're going to need probably some paper towels, um, some acrylic or craft paints, um, if you want, uh, maybe some glitters, and then some sort of cup to um, put the ornament on. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so you're going to go ahead, I'm just going to set one to the side right now. Um, go ahead and pop the top off of one of your ornaments. Um, so you're going to be just pouring your paint into the ornament. Um, and the method that she was talking about was the shake method. So you, you just literally just pour your paint directly into the ornament. And these ornaments are a little bigger than I would have liked, but I ordered them online. Um, I couldn't see the size, um, so I might need more paint than you would. And white. So I added my green and white. Um, I think I'm going to add some red. Sorry. Okay. I think maybe I'll add just a little more red. Side. I think maybe I'll put a little bit of this white, like shimmery stuff. It's not exactly glitter, it's kind of more of a shimmer. Let's add a little bit in there and just see what that does. I'll put the lid back on before I shake it. paint on my hands. <clears throat> Alright, so still beware that, oh, did I get paint? I guess I got paint on the outside. So I said we need the paper towels. Alright, so be careful when you shake it. There's a little slit in the top of this. I'm going to kind of cover it with my finger before I shake it. But if you can see, I got some red and some green and white. I might need to add a little bit more. Um, but we will shake it and see. I'm just going to shake. If you can see, it looks like my paint is, there's some in there, but it's not really moving a whole lot. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the red. I'm trying to add it on the side where it's, it doesn't have a, oops, I keep getting on the outside, where it doesn't have a ton of paint. Okay, and then I think I'm going to add a little bit more white. Okay, so let me, let's do another good shake. Okay, so after you've shaken everything, um, let's go ahead and make sure you clean up around the outside of the bulb to make sure that you don't have anything on the outside left. Um, I added a little more color. I'm going to try because I want to get most of it covered. But like I said, be careful with that little slit. If you can, keep your finger in there so it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, so mine is mostly covered at this point. And if you want, you can add more color. So there's that. So the next step is to go ahead and let it dry. Um, you could, 
if you want, maybe keep it in the cup like this to keep it from rolling over. Or if you want, you can tip it upside down and let it dry that way. And then maybe more paint might come around and change it a little bit. Um, I think I might try that way and let that dry. Okay, so once your ornament is dry, you can just go ahead and pop the top back on and then you can thread um, a ribbon through to hang it from. Alright, so here is my finished shaker paint ornament. Now you have your own unique handmade ornament. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and thank you so much, um, Benjamin Chavez, Sin City Soap and Candles, and Colorado Martini for being in my video. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Um, and I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday. Um, check out all my social media links below, and I'll talk to you guys soon.